Welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 22 with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Welcome back everyone. I'm just finishing off my lunch. I'll uh, wash that up later. So, since the last episode, I um, did a couple of things. I tidied up the yard a bit, uh, washed some of the machinery and did a bit of maintenance on it. Um, I compacted our silage and tidied up the edges and covered it with the blanket as you can see it's only one percent fermenting um there's a couple of stray little bits there for some reason that didn't get covered but that's not going to affect us and i think the total was roughly one million seventy five thousand six hundred something so we should get a quite good payout from that this episode I want to extend this field obviously like we talked about in the last one round here most of plot 28 and turn that into our grass field so we're going to create a new field there but extending off of this one um, the soybeans are growing as you can see I did have a little accident with the tractor I um, come round this corner too, a bit too fast and I just drove into the soybean slightly so I've ruined the crop just a little bit there. Nothing major though. And because we're getting a little bit of a build up of wool from the sheep, I'm thinking of putting a spinnery over here. Now I know I said we were going to put the sail points sort of a bit further away from the farm so it feels like we're having to drive to places but i mean our main farm's there roughly isn't it and we're over here so it's not too far away and at the minute we've only got one option where are we to sell the wall and that is down at the vehicle shop so again it just give us another option um for a sale point so I think we will do that now. So let's go into, I think it's miscellaneous. We've only got two options really to choose from. One of them is this Lone Oak Spinnery, which is um, from the actual Lone Oak map itself. It's only 30,000, but as you can see, it's reasonably big. And I was thinking, obviously, try and fit it in amongst these trees. Like so, somewhere around there, or like that. I suppose that doesn't look too bad, but I did want to. I know I broke the rule with the sheep pen. But I did want to just try and stick to most of AJ Tech's sale points and animal pens. So his spinnery is 60,000 to buy, which is a little bit more. Well, it's double the price, but it's less on the slot counts. And it's a lot smaller, as you can see. And we've only got 66,000. So it's going to pretty much wipe us out. But I was thinking if we... The ground's not too bad there. If we did something like that. Just trying to find the best spot. That's probably a little bit out of there I think probably here's better let's 
so that's 61 raise it if we raise it up too high it's going to create a mound there so i think we want to be about there 68 i don't know why the price changes when you turn left or right it's silly so it's going up now because we've come around there so let's try and get the lowest 19 I think 19 is going to be the lowest. Let's go for it. I just hope it doesn't leave too much of a bump there. That doesn't look too bad. You can smooth that out like that. I'm not sure I like the concrete though. What we might do is change that to our... Um, Dirt track colour like so. Not too worried about down the sides, you're not going to really see those. So now we want to create a little track that comes up in about that sort of width. We would have come in off there on the angle. Something like that. Make that a tiny little bit wider through there. And again, kind of sort of off the angle, leading out back onto our track. Something like that. If it's not quite wide enough, I can um, adjust it. Let's try and cut that corner off a bit there. That'll do. Cool. So we've got a spinnery. Let's turn that off. Now, let's go to cell points. And we've got spinnery there now on the sale point and the price is a lot better than the vehicle shop. So what I think we should do is take advantage of that. I'm not sure if that's a good price or not because I don't tend to do sheep. I have done on a couple of my maps before in the past but... should be able to customize this trailer from eggs to wool we've probably got quite a nice amount of eggs built up as well but we'll wait for that so let's turn that off so you can hear me talk should be able to customize this. Customize eggs, milk, wool. So there you go, you got the wool symbol on the trailer, and that is going to cost us zero by the look of it. Brilliant. Right. Let's go and pick up our wool. not going to give us a massive amount but it's a little extra income we've got the grass is growing back at a weird sort of shape pattern for some reason so let's try and get rid of these ones here first Back in a bit closer. Doesn't like that one, does it? Might have to swing back round and come alongside that. We're not even going to have a full trailer here, actually, are we? 
I thought we might have had a full trailer. Oh well, that clears the sheep pen. Let's go and see how much we get for these. Should be able to continue that track on through there as well. I'll do that in a second. Now, guessing. There we go. That's not too bad. Just under six thousand. money we didn't have just sat there it was all right let's take this trailer back actually while I'm here let's quickly go into landscape because that's gonna bug me is it that size we did Just carry that on down until it tells us to do one, which is there. Cool. Right. Let's go back this way because we don't tend to go this way around the lake. So now I'm going to grab the new Holland tractor, the latest addition to our farm, and we're going to create that field, which is probably going to take me a little while to do. Something like that will do. When we go out, I'll show you my little um, disaster that I had. Right. I think in the future we might invest in a bigger subsoil or plough. See look, there's only a little tiny little scuff where I went in there. Nothing major. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of eggs there. That we can um, sell later. So what we want to do run off at the edge of this field because that is pretty much our boundary yeah I don't really want to get too close to those trees I'll see if I can um, just come off of this bit I'll get the outline down, done, sorry, and then um, I'll probably have to do, let's just check, we're on, allow, create fields. Down we go. So annoying when it does that. You just go in a straight line it'd be nice but it, it's just annoys me when it kicks over to the left or the right like that why I want to get as close to that track as I can but without ruining the track
this is going to be one huge field in a way it is a shame to just have it as grass all grass but because if we had something growing in here it's going to be quite a lot coming off of it be interesting to see how much um, grass we actually get off of this on our first go and obviously we're going to have to lime it because it's a new field so we'll have to come round across here What I'll probably do is when I do lime it is I'm going to lime the existing field up there. Just coming back on that sort of angle. So we're aiming for that corner there. Yeah, so that field in front of us, I'll lime all of that as well as this new field. Like so. So, what does that give us? That's going to be massive. But, very cool. What I'll do is I'll crack on... Um, I can turn that off because we know our outline I'll crack on with this and I'll see you in a second when it's done right last little strip left to do taking me ages but it's all going to be worth it. Let's get this bit done. Fold that up. That is huge. Just going to landscaping mode. <laughs> the tractor looks tiny. My goodness, I could have gone right to the edge of the track um, so we didn't have all this roughage still in but if we do want to plant anything else in there it gives us that little bit of a border, an edge so I don't want things growing right up to the track if we've got other crops in there so well chuffed with that this old subsoil has taken a bit of a hammer in there, I should imagine. Let's have a quick look. It's on 80%, so what's that on 76? Oh, it's our fertilizer spreader. Soybeans, because I put the time up to times five as you can see otherwise we just get stuck in the same uh, game day all the time so I thought I'd speed it up and then what we do this rest of this episode when we come on to next episode it'll be a new day so it's, yeah soybeans look like they're ready to harvest but obviously that won't be this episode, but look at this. And we can see our spinnery now over there, which is quite cool. So we need to lime that. We'll turn the time back down. Just so we don't get, um, no we won't, let's keep it like that. Because if it dis, uh, does start getting dark, that'd be quite cool. Because we've not done any um, 
farming in the dark yet. Right, we need some lime. So, fill that right up. And off we go. Like I say, I'm going to lime the whole field. So it all sorts of, um, it sort of matches up at the end of the free harvests. Quite a few eggs there now. That's got to be a trailer load sat there. Yeah, just over. So let's get liming. This last little bit left to do I think that is the whole field we'll double check in a minute on the map this is the third um, load of lime that we've used I know lime goes pretty quick but that's the wrong menu yeah so that's looking good so that needs fertilizing. Um, ah, that's already at its first stage. Is that because we ploughed the grass in? We had this before over there actually, didn't we? I said this before, oh, that's pretty good. So that's had that stage on there. Now we need to grab our cedar slash planter and get some grass in there. I think we're going to have to get rid of some of those eggs soon. Otherwise, if we go to sleep tonight, that's just going to have no room for them to spawn and we get the dreaded message come up. No more room. Right, that lives in there, doesn't it, with the mower. Let me zoom in a bit. The person skills are terrible sometimes. 
I am better at reversing trailers in real life, honestly. That's a bit better, that'll do. Now I'm stuck. Right, let's get this big bad boy over it. Can't believe how much we've grown as a farm. When you think of all the smaller equipment we had to start with. Now we're using pieces of equipment like this. So I fill that up and while we're here we'll change that to grass. And we won't fertilize yet because I'm gonna use a digestate again but we'll get this um, planted first. shouldn't take too long with this big thing so down ah I know what I didn't do let's leave that there just in case I'm going to get the additional tank for seed I think it'll probably be all right, but it'll save us coming back over here. And that's what we did buy it for, so let's put it to use. Ah, it's already full up, that's good. Happy days. Let's get back to what we were doing. So that should give us a hefty amount now of seeds. I would be very surprised if we run out. Alright, let's get that turned on and lowered. And off we go. We're putting in the grass. Right, so yeah, this is going to take a little while. Obviously, you don't want us to watch me do this whole field. So, I will see you when it's done. Just finishing off the last little bit. And that is going to be the whole of this field with grass. Just sort of starting to lose the light. I think we would have got away with um, not using the additional tank on the front because I think that holds uh, 2,200, I think it was. So, yeah, we would have had just over a thousand still left in the actual cedar is quite good all I'll probably do is because all this this tractor and the um, cedar is going to need a good wash off probably a bit of TLC what I'll probably do is what do we do with the fent there she is clean the chickens up before we go to bed and get rid of some of those um, eggs what's the egg prices like 
we've also got some sunflowers sat there in the um, silo doing nothing. I suppose we could run them down to the um, vehicle shop. That's not a bad price for sunflowers, which is pretty good. And we've still got oats as well, but those prices are pretty rubbish at the minute. But eggs. Ooh. They're going up at the bakery. Right, we'll hold off at the minute with those eggs. But I think we're going to sell the sunflower seeds so if we well, how much did we have there ah that's annoying it's just over the um just over the capacity of the smallest trailer so we're gonna have to take the big trailer which looks a bit too big for our little fence but You should be able to cope with that. Yeah, I'm not sure we've been up this late yet on these um, episodes. Might have to get some lights on in a minute. Not that we're going to crash into anyone. Right, sunflowers. should give us a little bit of income and then tomorrow as in tomorrow game day next episode we can harvest all our soybeans whether, these, whether we sell them straight away is another thing we'll see what the prices are like right, let's get some lights on we'll go full beam Maybe the um, silage would have been 100% fermented as well. So that can be all uh, taken down at the BGA. And I'm going to do that all in one hit. I'm not going to do it in stages because I am absolutely intrigued to see how much we're going to get off of that. Over 1 million litres of it. That is going to be awesome. I will try not to spend it too madly straight away. <laughs> but you know what I'm like. We get a little bit of money coming in and I'm Snowy's off spending. That's pretty good. 27,000 just over. I'm happy with that. So it's just a shame those eggs are going up. Because I'd like to be able to sell them now. That would give us a little bit more. sheep rather have we got we've got 40 and that pen holds 80 I think we'll just have a little tend to our animals I know the sheep don't need cleaning up but um, I'll just make sure they've got enough space for the wall pallets because if we run out of room overnight, you just get the warning coming up saying there's no space. So 
So yeah, I think we'll um, clean the chickens out and we'll probably end that episode, or this episode rather, there. So I know it's mainly been about our new field, but again, it's something that needed to be done on the farm. And it's going to be all beneficial to us further down the line. Alright, let's grab our front loader. And then I need to clean all our machines up. I do want to try and get a bit more shed um, storage. But it's knowing where to put it. I know we created that gap there, but I'm a bit worried about um, ruining the lake. You get too close to that, it's going to push the edge out to um, bring up the ground. Cool, yeah, look at those eggs. I think we'll have to um, at least load the trailer up. Otherwise we're going to get the warning for the eggs in a minute. Whoop. My dodgy driving again. Alright, let's go and get the um, egg trailer. I'll do that and then we will call it, call it a day I think. Let's put that down before I tip myself over. lovely sunset though I do like that alright let's get rid of those like that and we'll get the egg trailer Ah, now that's going to have to be customised, isn't it? I didn't, um... I didn't swap that over from wall. Yeah, it's still got the wall symbol on, right. Now the subsoiler's in the way. I'll tell you what we can do. If we go around this way, should be able to attach that to the front and just move it out of the way, like so. Right, did did he? Customize eggs thank you very much all right let's at least get rid of some of those eggs for now i'll keep my eye on the prices i just hope they don't drop overnight but That'll stop um stop the error getting blocked though and us getting the warning overnight. So there's a full trailer of eggs we've got. And there's gonna be probably near on another full trailer of eggs tomorrow morning. Very dark round here now. Yeah. Right. I think we'll leave it there for this episode.
and um, like I say, I'll keep my eye on the eggs. If they um, do start dropping, I probably will sell them, but I will let you know. And then we've got all those bits that I've mentioned earlier to do in the next episode. So I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.